While coding in Vue.js, you might have run into the importance of using the key attribute in Vue.js templates, especially when rendering a bunch of items using the v4 loop. In this video, we're going to see an example of the kind of problems that can happen if we don't use the key attribute correctly. Things can break and lead to bugs that are very difficult to debug. So I've prepared an example here to demonstrate the importance of the key attribute. Now we're just gonna go through the example to explain how it's all set up. We have a simple to-do list here, pre-initialized with three items. We can add a new item right here. And going over to the code, we can see that we have an array of these to-do items right here the initial ones. We can also see that here we have the button defined and when we click this button the add to do method gets invoked which is defined right here. You can see that in this method we have this line that places a new to do item in the to do's array. So right here it places the item with attributes uh, ID which is new for every item we add and then we have the text and the text comes from new item variable which is defined as a V model right here in this input field so it's actually gonna be equal to whatever we write in this area right there all right and then these to do items right here are iterated over using the v4 loop and the v4 loop is going to go over all of the items and render the individual components. So we have a to do item component for each item. And that one is defined actually right here. As you can see, we have an input checkbox, which is here. And then we have the label, which is the text of the to do item. Right. We also have the is done local data in this component. This is really important. It's initialized to false first, because when we add a new item, we want it to be not done. Okay, so we can demonstrate like what happens when we say we add a new to do item. Let's say we add write article here. Great, so it's uh, prepended to the top. Okay, let's start over. Let's refresh the page. And now I want to show you what the actual problem is with this v4 loop if you don't use the key attribute. So first we're gonna tick all of these items to done. And then we're gonna add a new item like before. Write article. So now when we click the new item, we actually got something that we really didn't expect. You can see that the new element, write article, was added to the top, but why is it ticked done if we explicitly initialize the new items to is done is false? And why did the last element lose its done status? Well, that's because Vue.js virtual DOM algorithm is optimizing changes to the DOM and reusing existing elements as much as possible. So instead of the new DOM element write article being created, what actually happened was that the existing DOM element, which previously contained decide on article topic, was patched with the new value write article. And in effect, the new component was not created. And that's why the data here was not initialized. But the existing one, which was set to true, was used. And what about the last element, prepare article outline? Well, that one was pushed off the bottom, so to speak, and ended up in a new position, which didn't exist before in the DOM. So the element was recreated and is done was initialized to false, which is again not what we expected. So what's the solution for all this? Well, we can actually go ahead and use the key attribute right here in this uh, v4 loop right here. So let's place the key and we're going to set it to the ID 
of each each item so we're gonna say to do dot id and why do we add an id well it's because it's unique and in this way we're hinting to the Vue.js which items were there before we clicked the add new item button and which ones are being added all right so let's save this now and let's refresh the page let's start all over uh, we tick those items again and we can write write article and add new item all right so now this looks much better so since the new to do item has the id of 2000 and it's different from each of those view knows that this new item didn't exist before so it creates a new component for it and it's is done value gets initialized to false correctly and what about the rest of the to-do items right here well they have the same ids as they had before so view knows it should keep the existing components and place them in new positions which is why their is done values remain unchanged but there is a common pitfall here that a lot of people make so instead of using something unique like id they think okay maybe it's a good idea to add an index to the loop and now we can just use index right fair enough but what happens what, what is the problem with that let's see let's save this let's refresh do the same test again so write article we add a new item and then we have the same problem as we had before and why is that well that is because the index is not unique of course and the uniqueness cannot be based on the array indices since those of course can be used for new array values so remember to always use something like id something unique all right, guys, I hope this was clear enough. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. And you can find the link to my blog in the description. And as always, hit that subscribe button, stay codalistic, and see you in the next video.